G'day and welcome to another example of how to find the derivative of an implicit function using what's called implicit differentiation. <clears throat> Again, it's an implicit function because we don't have y expressed as a function purely of x terms. We have a mixture of x and y's in here and I'm not going to explain how to do implicit differentiation that I described in a longer video earlier. I'm simply going to demonstrate this. It's another example that I found from a site that I, or a web page that I strongly recommend you visit. I have the link below in the description. Uh, but in searching the internet, I found a web page produced by Dwayne Kuba from the University of California, Davis. And I was quite impressed with his selection of questions and the fact that the answers are provided, the, the work solutions are provided for you as well. So if you'd like to practice, I can strongly recommend going to his web page. Now, how do we find the derivative? The derivative of what we're taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x is y dash. Here we have a product, so we have a product rule. We take the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and leave the y cubed alone. Then we leave the x squared alone. I should make that 2 a little bit bigger. And then we find the derivative of y cubed. Now, the derivative of that power is 3y squared times, and being a chain, we now find the derivative of the y inside with respect to x, which is y dash. So there are our two expressions from the product. And notice that because the second time we're finding the derivative of an expression with y in, we end up with y dash, it'll be y dx. Now we have another product, so here we go. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Leave the y squared alone. That's the first of the two parts. The second part, we leave the first one alone. And we find the derivative of y squared. Now, according to the power, that's going to be 2y to the power 1. And then the derivative of y is going to be y dash. Now looking at it, we have y dash in three separate locations. And we're going to collect those together and put everything else, or leave everything else on the right hand side. Now, normally I'd be working down the middle of a fairly wide page because I like to keep my equal signs lined up so I can see what's moving back and forth more clearly, more easily. This isn't going to work here. So I'm leaving the y dash here. Where's our first one? I want to grab this and take it over this side. So it's going to be minus x oh, 3 x squared y squared y dash. I just move that 3 at the, to the front. And this one, I'll move the 2 to the front. So it's going to be minus 2 x cubed y y dash equals... I'm sorry for that little disjuncture there. What's left? This term and this term did not contain a y dash, so they'll stay here. 2xy cubed plus 3x squared y squared. I think I'm needing another pen. Now we have a y dash in each of these terms, so we take it out as a common factor. y dash outside of 1 minus... 3x squared y squared minus 2x cubed y equals this. That's not looking good at all. Let me just change to another one. Actually, this one might be better. And we now divide both sides by this complete expression. And we get y dash equals... That's a little bit better. This here, 2xy cubed 
plus 3x squared y squared over 1 minus 3x squared y squared minus 2x cubed y. What an, a difficult looking fraction. Now trying to get this written as an explicit function uh, would be difficult because we have a cubic in y and solving a cubic is not easy. We would end up with a most complicated expression. This is much nicer. It only took us one, two, three, four lines of work. A little bit fiddly, but there it is. Implicit differentiation of an implicit relation or an implicit function, more particularly relation. Please like the video if you did genuinely like it and leave a comment if it helped you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel so you can find out about future videos. And as always, I thank you very much for watching.